ears for a while to see if I could hear anything, and as far as I could tell, they're not even speaking. Well, that could be a good sign. Not for those two. Oh, you know, it figures you'd be negative. Maybe we should call them. Ah, uh, I don't think so. Why not? Well, because I think they need time to just work this out alone together. They couldn't work it out alone together. That's what got them in the situation in the first place. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I took the phone out of there so they couldn't call anybody. We could try the cell phones. <laughs> no, if they had them, they would have used them already. I don't want Helen and Monica thinking that we're all down here waiting for a, a miracle, you know, because that's only going to make them more stubborn about reconciling. Did you four little cherubic busybodies ever consider the fact that maybe you're flapping your wings at the wrong crowd? I mean, if the doctors, Quartermain, want to cash in their marriage license, whose business is it? Let them do it. They love each other, Luke. They belong together. Oh, that again. That old story. You, know, you should just stay out of this, given your present state of mind. Fine. Pardon me. You know, Alan's been through some pretty tough times lately, and I know that his recovery comes first, but he still believes in his marriage. And so does Monica. Be patient. Everybody, come on. This will work. And if it doesn't? Well, if it doesn't, at least they know where they stand. <laughs>